All right, YouTube, we've left Times Square, and we are now at, oh, where's the street sign at? We are at, there's one. That's not what I wanted. Anyway, here we go. We are at 46 and 12th Avenue. You can see that. And that big boat you see there is an aircraft carrier called USS Intrepid. It is now a museum, and we are at the New York Harbor, and we're going to walk over there, I'm going to give you a good view of the outside of it, and then we're going to go inside, I'm going to show you around in it, stay tuned. Just to give you an idea how big this thing is. Of course, this thing was out at sea, it'd be a lot deeper in the water, I think. Places to rest your tired legs and feet. You do a lot of walking in this city. I mentioned that before. Usually every time I come down here, I end up with sore ankles when I come back. They're kind of sore today. I think I've been conditioning my legs for coming down here about once a year, though. It seems to be less and less. Not as hard on my legs. Here's a side view of her. That is one big ship. See, they got a big tent mounted on the front of it now. That wasn't there the last time. I've walked through this ship before, but I didn't have my camera. I didn't even have to get any still photos. Which reminds me, I need to get a few photos to put on my laptop while I'm here. Say this thing was sitting, sitting in the city over there, it'd probably take up two blocks. A bit of it. This thing is huge. Been really humid in the city with the thunderstorms moving in and out. But feels pretty good down here on the water. Makes me wish I had my fishing pole. Haven't been fishing all year. I wonder what they say if I brought my fishing pole on an airplane next year. Nah, we won't do it. I'm sure there's a place you could rent some poles. We'll do some fishing around here. In fact, there's a guy right there fishing. sit down for a little bit and rest my legs. I've only walked like, I don't know, about 60 blocks today, if not more. Stay tuned. We'll show you a few more things and we'll go inside this thing. All right, we're inside the Intrepid Museum. We went ahead and paid the extra five bucks where you can go inside. It's one of the shuttle, space shuttles, I believe. But first thing we're going to do is go through a little submarine called the Growler. 
from what I remember being told, it's a the first submarine to carry a nuclear weapon, I think. It's from the 50s. So we're going to walk inside that. Probably won't do much narrating when I walk in there. Just, just show you what it looks like in there. Oh, wow. Well, look out for it's at home. <laughs> Office, the Growlers Yeoman provided administrative support to the crew. Put up a screen. 
and hear a confession. Made you go through this all the time, all day long, back and forth? Where's the guy? Tour guide.
now we're at a little cramped submarine. I thought that was pretty cool to look at. Uh, sorry about all the talking around me. There wasn't really anything I could do about that. It's not like I had my own private personal tour, but... Kind of messed up the video a little bit. That's okay. Still some cool stuff on there. Anyway, we're going on the big aircraft carrier now. might be a pretty long video. I just want to show the whole deal of taking the tour of this ship and the submarine and everything. Show you what to expect and look for in case you decide to come down here and look at it. Kind of it gets a little confusing if you don't know how things are supposed to be done. I like to stop and look at stuff like this where it would be like if you were on this ship looking over the side kind of pretending you're at sea you know stuff like that what it was like for these sailors on this ship look at the view from the other side let's go inside now This film here is showing the some rescues. The pilot brings the engines to full power. Kamikaze plane hit this ship. The story is the Japanese thought they sunk it and they didn't know. They either limped the ship home or they came out and hooked to it and towed it back, but they repaired it. The Japanese thought it was dead. Then next time there was a fight at sea, there was this ship again. It freaked the Japanese out. They called it their ghost ship. They thought it was dead and it came back. That's kind of cool, I think. Just go show you. Never beat up an American. We always get back up. Quick walk through all this 
airplane stuff here. I know there's a lot of little corridors you can go through on this boat and see a lot of the old original equipment and everything. This here is more of a display. Whoops, kind of hard to watch where you're going while filming. to see in here and it's a long video. We're just going to do a quick walk through here. to be able to walk outside. Oh, not anymore. Just look on the other side here. You used to be able to walk outside and get to the guns and everything. I don't know if you still can. Changed some stuff since I've last been here. Give you a little view of this. I don't think we're allowed to leave. Come out of here. All right, we found a doorway here. This is the kind of stuff I like to do: sneak around in all the little sneak around in all the little chambers and stuff. Well, you can only go so far. I remember the last time I was here, he would let you go up there. Not this time, though. Let me look for another. Okay, here's him. Supposed to go up to the flight deck. Museum stuff is nice, but I like to see the old original look of these boats. Steps are really steep. the ship. Combat information sectors while information comes in is analyzed. Looks very much like it did during the Vietnam period. It's like the briefing room. Ready room, they call it. Yeah, they used to have not have all this enclosed, and you could, uh, I don't think they let you walk in here, but... It wasn't closed up by glass like it is now.
Probably had too many people fooling around stuff they shouldn't be. <clears throat> so they have to do it that way. Not, people, not many people are walking up in here. They probably don't even know it's available. You got to kind of look for it. There used to be like three or four ways you could get to this, and they're kind of keeping track of who's walking in. Like if you seen that one guy in that room, he kind of broke down on a pad every time somebody walked through. Guess it's a good idea. Somebody would get lost in here and they lock this thing up for the night. Okay, now we can go up to the flight deck, I think. Four steep steps. And you used to be able to walk out there. that other door we tried to go in. And I also remember being allowed to walk up here. They don't let you do that no more. We can walk to the back of the ship and get a view of the city. Again. And for all you uh, movie fans out there, if you remember uh, the movie I Am Legend, this is the exact spot that Will Smith he was hitting golf balls. And he chased a deer right down that street. What do you know? Or 
always wondered where that where that spot was where he was doing that. Now I'm standing here. Amazing view off top of this thing though. Seriously. Big city. I think it's pretty cool to be here. And then again there's that question. But, but why do you go there? All I can tell you is go find out yourself. You gotta live life, you gotta see things. That's what it's all about. That's all I can tell you. Alright, we're gonna give this camera a little break and my shoulder's starting to ache from holding it up. Walk towards the front. Get a close-up of that stuff over there. And the space shuttle's on this thing somewhere. One of the space shuttles. I have a ticket for it too. Alright, we can still go up here. We've gotta go through the Outside stairway. Show you a little tour of that real quick. Did you see the mist? All done yet? Did it pop? As soon as these lollygaggers get to moving around. Steep steps right here. Sit here and he wants to continue to fight that. 
We have right currently we have 11 super carriers like this. They're all nuclear nuclear power. Um, there are three being built, three more, and then they're going to change the design. Uh, there is one that will be taken out of commission, the first nuclear power carrier, which is the Enterprise. It's been in commission for 52 years. During the 52 years, it came in port for refueling once. They refuel, they go for 25 years before refueling. Nuclear, same thing with submarines. Submarine nuclear power submarines, do not, now they make them for 30 years, they don't have to refuel. So summary should stay at the water
disappointed. I was hoping we'd go inside of it. Probably a lot of things in there they don't want us to see. started on the USS Intrepid. Just want to show you some neat stuff here. It's in a ejection seat. Pretty wild stuff. I hadn't found a door to leave on the other side. It wasn't locked. There were no signs that says do not exit. So I just figured I'd get out here. There's no one else here. That way I can take a good look at the outside of this boat. Look down in the water. Ah, here we go. Now we can get up to the gun. Hopefully the rain's moving out of here. Wouldn't mind walking up and getting a few shots of uh, Central Park. I think that's where I was headed last year when it started pouring. I said, to hell with it. But yeah, it looks like the skies are clearing up. Let's sit up here and look at these guns. Expecting something from World War II, right? All this stuff you use, World War II, Vietnam. I wonder how sturdy this is. <laughs> I don't want to fall in the water. Get my camera wet.
make sure that she or he. All the noises you hear over there, don't worry. There's a couple guys going through the second childhood. Nothing weird going on over there. <laughs> Gotta admit, this stuff is pretty cool though. Sitting in this seat here. Oh, yeah. I can see myself operating this thing. We figure it out, wouldn't we? Pretty darn high tech for the 40s, I tell you. I guess it was updated. This thing was used in the Vietnam, too. I guess it was updated through the years. I'm not sure if this is original 1940 style guns or not. Don't know much about this stuff. It is neat to look at, though. This is how they were supposed to do it. Climb up through there. Oh yeah. Oh, that stuff's not, not attached no more. I can sit around and just uh, poke around here all day long. I was kind of thinking of getting off the boat going back in the city, but kind of watch some clouds and start pouring again. I can just come in here and stay dry until it's gone. But it might be done for the night. The day that is. It's probably around 5 now, something like that. We're just talking like it's supposed to move out of here in the afternoon. The rain that is.
let's see what's in here. Thinking over this goes. Shell room. Look at that. Look at the size of them shells. Let's see, the last time I was on this ship, they didn't have all this glassed off. I mentioned that earlier that you could get to all this stuff. Let's see, I remember going to the anchor room. Let's see if you still can. I'd be disappointed if you couldn't. I think maybe this leads to it. Anchor room, that's what I wanted to show you. That's pretty cool stuff. Big giant chains, stuff like that. Here we go. Yeah, nobody's in here. Nobody knows this is here. I'm missing the best part. Look at all that high definition stuff on screen. Here's where it's at, all the old stuff. So this has been painted up, but it's not, you know, it hasn't been fooled with, it hasn't been changed. This is pretty close to what it was when it was used. That's what I like to see. Look at the size of them chains. I'd like to see the thing operate. Pull their big anchors up in. That's what they should do with this museum, make that operable and show it working. Give me the idea size these chains. Here's my here's my hand. I can't I can't touch my thumb, my finger around it, nowhere near it. Big heavy duty stuff. Size them ropes. Ropes bigger in your arm. <laughs> yep, my dad used to fool with all this stuff. The uh, Korean War, he was on the USS Oak Hill. I think they, uh, I think they scrapped that old boat out. I wish it was on display somewhere. I would love to walk through it just because my dad was on it. It'd be pretty cool. Let's see down through there. Yeah, nobody even knows about this room. Oh yeah, here's something I remember. They had a guy in here telling everybody about stuff. I was like, I asked him to see this picture. Of course, everybody, anybody knows anything about cartoons knows that's Roadrunner. But those cartoons were from the 30s, 40s, 50s, something like that. And I just asked him how old that was. He goes, I only know what it is. I was like, Man, it's the Roadrunner. I can't believe you don't know what the Roadrunner is. He didn't know anything about it. He was just a tear guy. He wasn't a veteran or anything. I couldn't believe the guy didn't know what that was for or what that meant. Yeah, they would let you walk up there and everything before. Can't no more. Give me a view inside of there. My glass is kind of blurring the lens out. It's no good. The glass is dirty too, it doesn't help.
we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here for a little bit. I'm gonna leave the boat, go back in the city, try to show you a little bit. I think I'll head up towards Central Park maybe. We already showed you Times Square. That's in another video. Just one last glimpse of the ship up close. Towards the rear. Right there is where we were just in that anchor room. Right there towards the rear. Some of them big ropes stretching out there. Tied off. Alright. That's all this boat. Stay tuned for more.